to take you through a slightly harder tune today. Uh, this is one of mine called After the Ha, and it was the title track on my last album, which I recorded back in 2016 now, I think, 2017 it was released. Uh, has the wonderful Julian Ferraretto playing fiddle on it with me and Sam Lesky on guitar, Alana Dawes on double bass. Uh, the tune is in G minor and it's a reel. So we're going to start with the upbeat and the anacrusis is one, two, three. And that first G is our first main beat. Uh, so we'll do that again. One, two, three. Two, So from there, the first phrase, I'm going to start right on that G, goes like this. Do that one again. Three, four. And one more time. Three, four. Without the little blip there at the beginning. Um, so I'll put that now with the anacrusis. So after three. One, two, three. Do that one once again. One, two, three. We're going to go on into the second phrase, which sounds like this. Three, four. Do that one again. Three, four. And one more time. Three, four. Awesome. So we'll put all that together. So from the anacrusis, phrase one, phrase two. Here we go, after three. One, two, three. Which will take us back to that G. Do that same one again. One, two, three. three which starts on that big open G like the beginning phrase one changes a little bit though so we've got three four <laughs> phrase starts on a little upbeat D. Three, four. Which will take us back to the G. So we'll do that one again, starting on an up bow D. Three, four. So I'll put those two phrases together now. So this is phrase three and phrase four. Three, four. there now so we've got our anacrusis and the first four phrases after three one two
next two phrases are exactly the same as phrase one and phrase two. Except, no, no, no exceptions. Phrase one and phrase two. So let's do from the beginning and just add those first two phrases on again. sense. So we've got anacrusis, phrase one, two, three, four, and then phrase one and two again, and then it changes. So that brings us up to the last two phrases of the A part. So if you like, this is phrase seven and phrase eight. So phrase seven is very similar to three, except that we end on an E flat rather than an E natural. So it'll go like this. Three, four. <laughs> Starts with that little pick up D. Three, four. Do that one again. Three, four. And one more time. Three, four. So if I put those two phrases together, phrase seven and eight, it will sound like this. Three, four. Okay, so I think we're ready to put the whole A part together. So let's have a go at that. After three. One, two, three. Same again. to get that really in your head and then we'll move on to the B part. So hopefully you've got the A part of the tune under your fingers now. So let's move on with the B part. It's going to start right on beat one with high G. One, two, three, four. into phrase two starting on the F sharp three four we'll do that one again three four we'll do that one more time and you might notice I'm doing a crossbow um, a cross beat slur there with my bow um, which I really like the feel of when this tune goes up to speed so just take note of that uh, and I'll put it in one more time second phrase 
Ready? Um. So let's put those two phrases together, starting right on the G. One, two, three, four. We'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four. brings us up to the third phrase of the B part um, and it's a little bit of a finger twister so we'll go through it a little bit more slowly starting on the high G again three four on bottom E flat. So we'll do that one again, starting on bottom E flat. Three, four. of the B part together. Starting right on the G on beat one. Three, four. tune now uh, we just need to learn uh, on the repeat of the B part just the very end of that fourth phrase changes so if we have a look just at the fourth phrase of the B part so far we have this and that on the repeat of the B part is going to change to So we're just changing it up a little rhythmically at the end there. I'll do that again. Three, four. Same again. Three, four. So if we think of the B part as having two separate endings, the first time ending will be this. Three, four. Second time ending is this three four. And then you're ready to start again at the beginning of the tune. Okay, so let's put the B part together with both endings. One, two, three, four.
Let's do all that again. Same speed. One, two, three, four. So that's the whole tune. So let's put it all together now, A part and B part, at that nice steady tempo. One, two, after the ha I hope you've enjoyed learning that today and if you have enjoyed this video lesson then let me know and I'll see if I can put some more out as well and in the meantime happy practicing <laughs>